guys, welcome to a video of Finance at Freddy's Free. And this time we will be playing this one because I tried to do FNAF 2 and I can't beat it. Now we're going to do FNAF 3. So I'm only kind of a little nervous, but I feel like I'm. I feel like um, it's gonna be an interesting experience. So without further ado, let's just head right in. Head right in. Oh God. Hey, hey! Glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, Hello? Yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. Yeah, you I officially become part button. of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. You watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Okay. So I can now click on it, it says slide in. How are you even supposed to see? Look okay, at this part, how are you supposed to see, like, where he's at? Like, you really have to, like, look around and stuff. This is... This is gonna be, um... Something, alright? I think that was just trying to get you the idea of what this game is going to be. Because I fear there was none animatronics coming.
I'm not gonna follow you. I don't know what this is supposed to show. I don't think this can you go in here. Hello, Foxy. <laughs> uh. Follow me. No, really? That's really all I can do. What, are you Bonnie or are you the Papa Man? Oh my god! God, it scared me. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training things for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes it feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello! Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound keys. This is an easy and hands-free approach <laughs> to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's oh, session. Boy. Remember to smile, you are the face of Brady Fazbear's pizza. I'm trying to understand this, so... In the we put them all... Wait. Oh god. Hello? Okay, so he's right there. Is it just one? What the hell 
hell is this? Oh my god. I can't even see him. Like, where can he be? Okay, he's still like, he hasn't even moved at all. What does that mean? I am not moving. I'm waiting for that time to go 6 a.m. No! Fuck. You got me. Song right here. I'm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> what is that sound? I just saw him right here in this spot next to Freddy. I'll just wait here and until the time's up. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, same thing. Yep, okay, let's just get this done with. Oh no, Freddy! Oh my god! What's up here? Error, error, error. Okay. <laughs> this has to mean something. Like the Papa guy is, is destroying the animatronics. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring lock, as moisture may loosen them Don't and cause them to break the spring lock. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out. That will not ruin really the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layout program, animatronics, or security system. This room is hidden to customers, invisible to animatronics, and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Yeah, I feel so joy about it. That sounds like a lightsaber. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Wait. What's that? Okay, I basically kind of get the message, so basically if you see the thing on the top, 
corner of the camera. Just do this as quick as possible. And, oh, you did! What? Press the nose. Nope. No. The nose. Um, would you stand? <laughs> okay. I would say the jump scare is kind of. Eh. It's like, ugh. Alright, I'm gonna try it again. I need to understand how this game fully works, like, so I don't mess up. Alright, so he's right here. It's so hard to see him. So, play audio. Is that kind of. Obi Wan, Duff, are you guys fighting over there again? So it makes him stay in that area. Got that lightsaber. <laughs> no, you stay right there. Mm hmm. Apparently, he likes to. Yeah, I guess he likes kids, apparently. Hi. No, you come back there. Oh, shit. This is a different experience than, um, than the other FNAFs. <laughs> okay. And we... Hello? What does that mean? Yeah, just ignore everything. Just stare to my soul. Oh, great. Can't wish the jump scares were more scary. I'm gonna try this one more time. This might be a short episode, because I need to understand how this game works. Like, I kind of get it, like, audio to play, so he goes to that direction. I, that I basically got. So does he spawn here, or here? What was that? The footsteps I just heard. Yeah, I just heard it again. <laughs> that lightsaber again. Hi.
Okay then. This place is like so stupid, like all this com Wait. Just Oh that's like the shadow of the cup. Louis Faction, sorry. Louis Faction. Yeah, I see this face down here. I just don't know what's that animatronic or something. Hello. 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 And I don't know what to do. Does that mean he's nearby? I heard that. Hi. Oh, he's wait. Oh, I didn't even see that. God, I didn't even. Okay, I'm just gonna boot them all. God. He was like in the. T he was in the corner of the camera. I didn't even see that. Like, you had to look. Okay, so he's gonna be a tough guy. He likes to hide in the shadows. Uh, Obi Wan. Um, this kid. This kid, this kid, this kid, this kid right there. <laughs> he just like nope. Uh, and then kid right here. I don't know where he's at. It's so hard to. Oh! What the fuck? I can't even see him. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. about to win this. <laughs> um, 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 um. Oh my god. This is just gonna get harder and harder. And I don't even know how this, how this works. Here we go again. Chica, the last one. You know, it's for the Pope of Man. Here, yeah, come here. So far, it, this is an interesting one. Like, I don't know what to think of it, but this is interesting. Oh no, I can't go through. Oh no, gotta go back. <laughs> I'm gonna 
let's see how night four is. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, there's been a slight change of company policy concerning use of the suit. Um, don't. After learning of an unfortunate incident, I fear this guy's speed. I fear this guy's a bad guy. Spring lock failures. The company has deemed the suit temporarily unfit for employees. Hi. Safety is top priority at Brady Bad Bears Pizza. Why the classic suits are being oh, there's, um, to an fun, FNAF well, 2. After I beat um ten toy mode, that's on and that's on Defu good. You're just full in the dumpster <laughs> or in a box. <laughs> um, wait. So they don't kill me; they just stun me. Wait. Right? Yeah, I feel like they like more stun you, not kill you. So the main one is. That one animatronic that's trying to kill me. Holy oh, shit! I have no words to say about. Maybe you go um over there. Okay, we have to pay attention. What the fuck was that? Um, I will say this right now. This animatronic, um, he needs to work on his jump scares, cause they're not that scary. Just him moving around, like, even like, leaning the, like, towards, um, looking at the cameras, he just runs across. That was scary. I will admit that part. But yeah, so this is it for now, me playing FNAF free. What you guys think of it in the comments below? I'm gonna obviously beat it. And obviously, you know, do everything, try 100% of everything. And then move on to the fourth game. And then I think it's such locations, and then Pizza Arena. Then I think, um, Security Breach. So yeah. So I have a lot of games I gotta go for, but. Now I'm already in the third one, and so far it's something else. It's something different. I don't know what to think about it. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of good. It's just one animatronic to worry about instead of ten. And those shadow figures of them, like the animatronics, I think it's just to stun you or paralyze you. I think that's basically what it's for, but what I understand it. So yeah, but this guy is the main problem. So yeah, so if you know this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and like this video um, if you want to see more of this. So yeah, or watch this a bunch of times. So yeah, so if you know this video, and butts and bows. And bye. I, I like the music. Hey. I am in the arena. I am in the arena. I'm so... <laughs> I like this music though. So yeah, so for now and bye. Oh, I figured I'm about to drop the beep. <laughs>